Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. We're still playing Typing of the Dead. We are. Rachel is tapping away on the keyboard the like crazy. Getting tired. <laughs> well, luckily this is your break, right? This is your chance to. to... It just makes my fingers stiffen up. I <laughs> 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 manicured only yesterday. Yeah, and now your fingers. It's a shame. Aww. What? Oh, okay. Um. He's got that dirty talk. Some there were like a, a quickie fingers or something in one of the first episodes. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's uh, it's all coming around. They're all tying the story together, aren't they? Um, no, <laughs> the, the words are all randomly picked. Uh, it's not actually happening. Papa. Well, pseudo randomly. They're obviously in like a set per level or whatever, so that you got like the stripper words on the stripper level. But I'd it's like a good shiny mostly stunner. random. But, what? <laughs> it's just it's, gone. it's just such a Mom's, random Mom's like. Lost. No, it was No, I know random. it was on the screen. Yeah, but like, I mean, it was in the cutscene, but it just it, it's such a non sequitur for what we're talking about I'm, in the moment. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. What are we gonna do about that? Well, we already had dinner. Sort of, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean. Yes, I guess we did already have dinner. <laughs> this is not interesting. <laughs> but it is a sad re revelation, right? She's still wearing those towels. Yeah, well, they're they're durable. I guess. And practical, because when you get zombie blood, you need something to clean it off. Oh, good point, good point. So you would want to have a towel handy. A I don't... A seductive she-devil? <laughs> and a pair of pigs on a roaring rampage of revenge. Uh, why... Are they allies, though? Like, they definitely killed her brother. Does she know? Yeah, she does know that, doesn't mm -hmm. she? So, like, well, maybe think... she understands that her brother was trying to kill them. Yeah, I guess so. But you would still think she'd hold a little bit of ill will towards them. She probably does. Okay, look, Carney. We're, we're more than a quarter? <laughs> more than a third of the way through the game? Thousand tiny fingers. Intermission. I like the intermission screen. It's straight out of Grindhouse movies. I, just, I like it. Yeah, the colors and the swirlies. You know. Take this part outside. <laughs> That's not from that movie. <laughs> That's that not part. from any movie. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, the the intermission is. No, it's the pre. A lot of movies. No, that part is from the Take the Seat Outside oh, run yeah, over after the show. It's straight out of Aqua Teen yeah, Hunger Force. I know that. But I was talking about Grindhouse. Oh. The music and the colors yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. Like the... We were just in two different places. We're, I thought we were right here. Nope. Okay. Um. This is a weird conversation. I um. I decided that I want to be on a cooking show. Oh, that's good. But I really want it to be like like Iron Chef type thing, but it's team based, and everybody okay. has to come up with a team name. That's probably already a thing. Well, I'm going to be on that show. Okay. And then we have to come up with our team name, and you can be on my team. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to want to after I hear the name. We're going to be called Assault and Buttery. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> I'm on my own team. What's your team? I can't tell you. What? What's a secret? Because um, I haven't thought of it yet. Team Pop Secret? No. <laughs> it's a food related. It is, but no. Secret. It's the only food related secret I can think of. That there aren't many out there. So. Um. Send us your food related secrets. <laughs> uh, I was going to do a Homestar joke. <laughs> that doesn't work. I can't do the. The, the capital M, and then Archie. Mm, Stuff the marshmallows yeah. in your pocket for secret eating. <laughs> secret eating. I guess I just did the Homestar joke even though I said I wasn't gonna. Yep. <laughs> so. That's how things go sometimes. They just sneak in there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I really am. Um, this is a lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we're doing, yeah. That is the idea. Uh, 
Um, God. Would a thirty-dollar hooker use her tongue well or poorly? I would assume poorly. I assume that that's a low-end rate. But he said a, he used it better than. I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh. But. I definitely think thirty dollars sounds like a low end. I've right? never had but to pay for a hooker. Then why would you tell him he's better? Because <laughs> then you've never had to pay for a hooker. Yeah, they were just chosen. Well, once I once I met my hookers and we had such a good time. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Come, Come closer, closer, baby. Baby. Ooh. <laughs> um, Aimless feet. That's a good movie too. So we have a good story. About a hooker. Oh. <laughs> I try to, um... Try to... Oh my god, words. Um, block that out of my memory. Why? I love the story. <laughs> no, it's... You've specifically told other people, too. No, it's it's a funny story. It was just a little traumatic while it was happening. <laughs> so... Early in our relationship, we had... <laughs> we had... <laughs> we had just gotten together like a couple weeks in and you stayed over and I was at an apartment which w had an alleyway like directly adjacent to my window and we were right next to a organization that found jobs for homeless um, which is a great charity organization and um, the homeless people from that place would basically while they're like waiting on information from the job place they would just kind of hang out in my back, my apartment building's backyard. Yeah, not in your apartment. No, not in my apartment, but in the backyard. And it was always kind of like a little bit uncomfortable, but there were so many of them there that I assumed if anyone tried to do anything that like the sort of crowd presence would detract any crime, I guess. Like most of them would not be up for it <laughs> and, you know, would be... So, so it always kind of felt like they were they were our friends in a way, <laughs> like the people who would hang out in our back stoop and stuff. Um, I yeah, don't we know would say that hi I to felt them. That way, but you well, you there. yeah, exactly. Like I had been there for a while, so like I saw them every day. The same people. I would say hi to them. Um, in winter, um, my roommate and I we took out a box of clothes that we were didn't want anymore and gave it to them so they could keep warm. So I felt like we had harbored some goodwill. Um, and I was a lot more optimistic about people back then. Oh, that's you, hard to type. You broke me of that. Yeah, I don't think that was my fault. I think that's... Yeah, I know. It wasn't. But, anyhow, time has has ravaged me like most people. You can hit tab. <laughs> and you gotta slow down. Um, but anyhow, um, so, early morning... I'm asleep, you wake up without me, and you hear what exactly? I hear what sounds like, to me, I I assume the neighbors are having the lovins. The lovins. <laughs> um, the upstairs neighbors. Being yeah. the only neighbors you'd be able to hear from our, from that apartment. So I woke my bedroom at the time. Pick up to tell him that I thought his neighbors were having really loud sex. Well, didn't you say, like, you listened to it? Like, not listen to it, listen to it, but, it like... It woke me up. It, yeah, but it was going on for a while before you woke me up, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you had... They, they just, like, had kept going at it as far as you could tell. Yeah. And then you woke me up, and I listened. Again, that sounds weird. I'm not saying, like, we were listening, listening. But... You couldn't help but hear it. Exactly. But I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't seem to happen. Uh, that doesn't seem right for the you know the way things are going. And I kind of roll over in my bed and look out the and window. <laughs> and you know, kind of like pop the blinds open, and there is straight up a hooker giving a blowjob right outside my window, like <laughs> up against the window. Yeah. <laughs> so. Which like is. Right where our heads are. Right, exactly. Like, our heads are mere feet from straight-up blowjob and, no doubt, all of the other activity you had been hearing. Yes. <laughs> and so, I got so mad. A part of it was just because, like... Because like, <laughs> it's rude to have sex against somebody's window. Well, that too. But also because, like, 
I didn't know you well yet. Like, that was, I think, maybe the first time you'd stayed over? Mm, I don't remember. Uh, I think it might have been, but I can't remember either. But it was still early on, and, you know. Trixie. And we had a very... A, a, a very, um... Leper handshake? <laughs> we... We had a very innocent relationship at the time. You had not given me a leper handshake. <laughs> so... Yeah, that came later. Tab. Tab, tab, tab. Tab. God damn you. Did you do it? You didn't, I, I guess. No, I think you did it. <laughs> I think... I think you're fine. Um, but anyhow, so I was like... Nipple offended by... Madness. That happening outside of the window with you there, especially. Yeah, you didn't know me very well. So Right now, I know you would have rather than just, you know... <laughs> I would have cheered them on. <laughs> but I just got super mad and I pulled the blinds open and banged on the window really loud and yelled, Get out of my alleyway! <laughs> and I felt like like a spawn Hurts character. Donut. <laughs> Anyways, never saw someone's eyes get as big as the guy's eyes <laughs> who was receiving the oral pleasure from a, oh, it's a lady now. of the street. And... <laughs> He jumped in the air, grabbed his pants, she jumped back, and uh, they ran out of the alleyway. But I feel like she must, for the amount of time that you said it was going on, she must have been taking care of multiple people back to back. I don't know. I mean, maybe they were doing other things first? I guess. I guess it's possible. I mean, it, it's entirely plausible. But, uh, but yeah, so that's, that is almost the only, um hooker story I've ever had. The other one is a very quick one. I was walking through a park in Richmond and a guy who looked like a straight up like comic book character in a purple suit um, or cartoon character in a purple suit came up to me and he said hey man, do you like may girls? I eat you? <laughs> no, he didn't say may I eat you. He said do you like girls? And I just kind of like nodded reflexively as I was trying to walk away from him and he's like, you come back at 6 p.m. tonight. I got every kind of girl you want. What kind of girl you like? And I just kept walking. <laughs> and so no more hooker stories, unfortunately, on the next. And then when he went back at 6, the guy wasn't even there. Yeah, what a bastard. Next time on It's a Replay Life. Bow, wow. Really kick it. Yo, plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.